Hey, CRE family, Jonathan here. I'm super excited to be in Austin, Texas tonight at the drop-in at the Long Center. Um, here to see our buddy Zach Person rock out on the Ascender Standard Plus from CRE Guitars. Um, Zach's a longtime friend and he's going to strut his stuff with the Ascender. And uh, anyway, we're gonna have fun tonight. Come on out if you're here. Jonathan Spangler with CRA Guitars. I am super excited to be here with my friend, dear friend, uh, Zach Parson. Zach is now living in Atlanta, and we met five years ago, um, but it's nothing that a pandemic, you know, pandemics aside, we're, we're back where we need to be. Yeah. And um, yeah, definitely wanted to take the opportunity to, to reconnect. Um, we're here in Austin, Texas at the drop-in at the Long Center. And uh, we're super excited that, you know, Zach's gonna give, give this one, take it for a walk tonight. And um, I also wanted to hear a little bit about, you know, catch up. You've been touring in Europe and yeah, the UK all over. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to and what you're excited about. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we just got back from a European tour and, um, uh, last later or earlier this year uh, mm -hmm. in march we put out an album called let's get loud and um it's kind of uh, we've been just hitting the road and, and touring on that trying to you know get it in as many people's hands and ears and hearts as uh, as possible so right on. um uh like i said like you mentioned we just moved out to atlanta from austin texas and um uh, we're, we've kind of landed back here again, uh, back in Austin today for tonight's show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were in San Antonio last night? Yeah, San Antonio last night at uh, Paper Tiger. Right on. And uh, yeah, and then headed back to, uh, to the East Coast for some more dates. Okay, all right. Well, you do yourself a favor, check out Zach Person and, and you know, find some dates. You're going you're gonna to find it in your heart as soon as you <laughs> find it in your ears. Um, and yeah, like I said at the outset, I'm just super excited to, to reunite with a with an old friend. Yeah. And um, you know, we we both uh, took different journeys since then. Um, one of those that we caught up about earlier today is the evolution of our of our guitar. And you know, the first version that that Zach saw and played um, was what we now call the Ascender Standard Custom which, um, you know, a vital part of our history, but, you know, frankly, this is the, this is central to our future. And with the new actuator and the new body style and, you know, just that easy, um, you know, it's... Thank you. Yeah, man. I remember the um, the first version of this, and uh, I've been seeing everything on social media and like just watching the guitar evolve over the last few years, and um, excited to like see it in person now. It's, no pun intended. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No <laughs> pun intended. Um, yeah, man, man. The 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 system here for uh, locking in the the neck once it's <clears throat> once it's been uh, uh, folded out, like that's like. It's so smooth. Um, it's very binary. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's just it's it, there's no question. It's lighter. It's more intuitive, and that's you know what our intent was, and that's what we're hearing from the field. So, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean everything from the neck is so it's so stable. Like I can't hardly believe how stable it is. Like um, just the engineering in this, every, everything that we kind of you know. You mentioned to me on the phone about uh, the new system for how it, it locks in. It's um, like from V1 to, to here. Like the, I mean, it's um, it's uh, I mean, uh, I couldn't you know I couldn't tell the difference between this and like a you know a, a non-folding instrument. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, on the, on that topic, <clears throat> um, what we we've. We've kind of, um, it's been fascinating to see this guitar kind of find its own way, right? And at time one, um, at Nashville, the Summer Nam of 2018 was the first time we really debuted our prototype at the time. And there were people who 
you know, even though I made it for like me and people like me, business travelers, you know, um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a professional musician. People who know me know that's very true. Um, but then to hear people say, no, 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 I, I have a tour in Europe coming up. Like, when can I get it? And I thought, oh, well, that's, that's interesting, you know. And then to go from that first uh, question by a country artist going to Europe to now we, we have quantified the cumulative audience of touring acts that are using our guitars on stage. Since 2022, it's over 4 million people have wow. been in the audiences where an ascender's on stage. They don't know it's an ascender. They're, they're here to, you know, to, to hear, to listen yeah. and be part of the music. Um, and then, you know, we had our first Grammy winning uh, album part where our guitar was used on it, the Count Basie Orchestra. You know, that, I never dreamt that at time one, yeah. right? And, um, and so anyway, it's, it's really fun to see it kind of like, it, it's, it's, it's saying, I belong on stage. Right. Right. Yeah. And to your point, like, it feels like a non-folding traditional guitar. The reviewers and, and people are, are saying it's not, it's not a great travel guitar. It's a great guitar that travels. Right. Right. I think that's what everybody like wants in a, or every guitar player I think wants in a musical instrument that it taken on stage is something that, you know, it, it disappears when they're playing. Mm -hmm. Something that doesn't impede on anything that they're doing. <laughs> I've played instruments and like, you know, those instruments have left because like I just couldn't flow on stage mm -hmm. doing it. And like you want something that disappears. So like, you know, no matter how creative an idea is with an instrument, if you like the instrument itself, you can't disappear in the artist's hands. I right. think that it's not gonna they're not, they're not gonna stay with it. You know, sure. I ultimately I think what you've landed on here, you know, will do that for yeah, yeah. an artist on stage. Well, A, thank you. And you always, Zach always has the greatest quotable quotes. Mm -hmm. Like that one is going to stick with me. I've never heard that. And, and one that I, that I love and I, I, I tell it all the time about some people will, you know, if you flip the guitar, you'll see how the, the, the neck, you know, there, this is aluminum and this is mahogany, right? And I remember the very first time we met and I said, oh, Zach, you know, as you go up the neck, you're gonna feel there's a difference in the thing, and you're like, dude, it's like the cool side of a pillow. Yeah. And exactly. I thought, I'm gonna quit apologizing for the fact that it's cool. Like, it's cool. Yeah. Cool's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, cool side of a pillow. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man, and I, I was thinking about this earlier, talking with my, my drummer, that um, it's, I think it's really cool, like, what you're doing with this company, what you're doing with these guitars, you're like, it's, you found an issue and like you're, you're, you know, effectively solving it. And like, it reminds me of like, what most of the great guitar makers, uh, manufacturers over the years have done. Leo Fender, he you know, saw a problem with all this, you know, feedback, innovated, uh, really, you know, staple instrument that's, you know, the, yeah, the, um, solid body guitar, you know, Paul yeah. these, I mean, yeah, over and over time and time again, we've seen this, and like, um, I don't know, it reminds me of that. You know, you're going directly to Damn. players, and you're asking them, you know, is this a problem? And you're asking them, what could be better about this? And, yeah. like, and you're listening to the artists that are giving you feedback, and wow, you know, so that's high praise. Thank you. I, I, um, you know, it, it it can be a very um, it can be very lonely being first, right, and trying to for its new territory. So as much as, you know, it that equation takes someone taking that first action, it also takes an open-minded person to say, you know what? Let me see that. Right? Yeah. So thank you for being open-minded and part of the part of the family because, you know, um, it it takes, you know, uh, there's early adopters and then the fast followers and then, you know, and then there's a subset that will never change. Right? And that's fine. Like I don't begrudge anybody who would, this isn't for them. I'm just saying, before you put it in, you know, uh, in a box, like at the trash bin, give it a try, you know? And I'm gonna take this opportunity to say, um, and there's obviously an open invite anytime you're in Nashville, stop in our shop in Nashville. We, we, we have our luthiers. You can ask every question and find out exactly how we make these guitars. You can go into our artist lounge. We've got all the models there. We've got amps there. We've got a st stock bar there, if that's your thing. 
and you know it's it is a it's like this crown jewel little you know and get ready to have sawdust when you when you leave because it's industrial we're making stuff right um and that's you know it's something that we we really sincerely want people to check it out because it in some level you kind of have to check it out right yeah and people are gonna hear and we're, and we're actually observing this more and more where artists are telling other artists guitar techs are telling other guitar techs tour managers to, like no trust me you know this thing's real and that's been a, a, a beautiful thing to kind of witness them taking on they're almost um, you know they, they feel compelled to share the good news right because we all know that the struggle is real um, I mean, you, the first time we met, you would come off a flight right? here at, yeah. at, at Austin International, and I think you had a guitar on your back, and every time, you know, at least I go into a, an airport oh, yeah. with a guitar, you know, you have that creeping sense of, of, of angst and uncertainty. That's not going to fit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, but this is my livelihood. Like, can you... Yeah, I'm sorry. And so, you know, you're, um, you're running the gauntlet, Every time you go in, and I've talked to plenty of artists who, you know, even Nashville folks, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I flew to Austin, and it was awesome. And then they had the one over X experience going back from Austin to Nashville. So mm -hmm. just because you're going from Music City to Music City does not mean you're out of the woods. Right. Right? Absolutely. So, anyway, um, <laughs> well, we are, like I said, super grateful. Um, Zach and, and looking forward to seeing you you know uh, share your gifts tonight on uh, the Center Standard Plus and oh yeah you know my uh, my suspicion is you're gonna see Zach person with some P90 permutation of an Ascender because <laughs> he loves his P90s oh yeah <laughs> that's my thing but yeah yeah thanks so much appreciate you man well it's uh, music's a force for good and thanks for being uh, such a friend Zach yeah share your guitars. Too. Dot com over and out.
Yeah. Have the same talk as you played with him back in the day. Or... 